What's up, world, man? It's your boy, Tony T. And it's Casey. And you tune in to My Kicks the Passion the Closet, your number one leader in sneaker news. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tony T. Man, welcome back to My Kicks the Passion, your number one leader in sneaker news. Today, we have a great show lined up. I got my girl, KC, right here with me. How you doing? Fine. Let's get it. Let's get it. Today, we're going to be just, uh, discussing things like sneaker and the sports industry behind how athletes and business is coming together. And a couple of sneaker terms that your sneakerheads use. And I got my big homie, Blaine, stopping by, man, to talk about all his customizing shoes and things that he's doing in the sneaker community. And the 10th anniversary of the Dornbecker Collection. And, of course, your favorite part, man, all the release dates you could possibly think of, man. So, y'all stay tuned. Get some popcorn. Chill out with us, man. We're going to take good care, y'all. MKTP the closet. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to My Keeps the Passion, the closet, your number one leader, sneaker news. It's your boy Tony T. Or Camaro like whichever one you like to go by. Like I said, it's one of my favorite portions. And a lot of people hit us up like they really like this part. The terminology section. What sneakerheads are saying on a day-to-day -day basis in the streets. A lot of people bumping into me in the streets like, man, I'm glad you said something about that. I need to know a little bit more about that. So we're about to give it straight to you like this from the My Keeps the Passion headquarter. Play edition. Sneaker is one that is designed for a specific player, then made available at retail, oftentimes as a quick strike or limited release. Play exclusive. A sneaker designed specifically for a player and never intended for retail. Sample. An early makeup of a shoe that's made so designers and retailers can see upcoming models. Now, there's two types, look-see and wear test. The look-see is typically a size 9 and made just to be seen or looked at. Wear test. Samples are made in various sizes, commonly the size 13, to see how a new sneaker performs. Uptown, Nike Air Force One, and VNDS, very near dead stock. And there you have it, folks, man. That is all the terminology for this week, but you got to tune in each and every week, man. We're going to keep those terminology dropping on you. Me, personally, I love the play edition. Uh, the example is the Ray Allen uh, white and green. That was a very, very limited shoe. They made that shoe just for Ray Allen in the playoffs, and they then came back and released that shoe that was very, very high in demand right there. So I love that right there. Play exclusive is real dope. I mean, you see Kobe Bryant, they, they have all different types of shoes made just for that player that you would never see at the retail store. So I think that's pretty cool how they give the celebrities that just that exclusive, exclusive feel right there. Some people don't like it, but I think it's it's pretty dope. If I was a celebrity, I want my own shoe made, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, sample product is really dope. I love the fact that you use a size 9 because I wear a size 9. So, Nike, I'll let you boy. You know, you got some shoes out there that you want me to try out. Hey, I'll take care of that for you. And the Uptown's Air Force Ones, man, classic shoe. Big shout out to ASAP Rocky, man. He was one that kind of first went back on the scene, started rocking that shoe and kind of getting it back popular. So, make sure y'all get that force build so I'm wrinkled up in the front right there. And uh, they're near dead, dead stock. That's a pretty cool shoe. Pretty good analogy right there as well. Um, you know, shoes are selling at a high pace. So it's good to know what your shoe is worth and what you can sell it for, or trade it for. So when you hear all those different codes and words, that's just to know what the shoe is traded for. So that's a little bit from the My Kicks Dispatch headquarters. Me and your girl KC, we rocking out here, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned each and every week. What's up, man? It's your boy, Tony T. Man, he tuned into the closet, man. Your number one leader in sneaker news, man. And we have an amazing special guest here today by the name of Blaine Rivers, man. What's going on? How you doing today, man? What's up? Man, Blaine, what's going on, man? How you, how you days going? It's going good? It's pretty good, pretty good. I like the outfit, man. You know what I'm saying? The hat with the blankie. I just, Thank you know, let's talk about this a little bit because fashion shoes are all ties together. So tell us a little bit about what you're rocking today, man. Well, actually, I'm. Uh, this is a sample poncho right now that I'm working on uh, to give to some designers around here. Okay, so okay. hopefully one of them picks it up and uh, we roll with it. Definitely, definitely. That's uh, all right. That's all. The hat, I don't know. <laughs> just dope. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Well, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about Blaine and me, how we came together. We definitely came together through the sneaker community. Um, it was funny. I didn't even know Blaine. And people were going around saying, man, you guys dress alike. You guys are kind of similar. So I was like, I got to meet this Blaine guy, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and that's how it kind of came. We, we came together. We worked on uh, several uh, events together, activities, community events, and things like that. So definitely good to have you on the show, man. So, of Thank course, you. we're here, man. Um, you're definitely blowing up with your customizing shoes and how he's going around customizing. Before we get into that, we want to just talk about the shoe game a little bit because this is the closet. You know what I'm saying, and things like that. So, uh, would you consider yourself a sneakerhead? And what are the terminology of a sneakerhead to you? Uh, after watching my Kicks of Passion video one, I think uh, <laughs> great plug. <laughs> the uh, the best definition of a sneakerhead was from Fletcher at Politics. Okay, and it was, he said something about if you had five dollars to your name, what would you buy 
food, something. If you buy a shoe, you're a sneakhead. There you go. That was up. <laughs> and you remember, that's a great big shout out to politics. Right there, make sure y'all yeah. get some kicks from the boys out there, man. The whole family, we love y'all from the TV. Okay, so that's so that's how you feel. If you got a last dollar, it's going to sneaker. That's that's yeah. your definition of it. That's not really my like me personally. I wouldn't consider myself a sneakerhead, mm -hmm. but uh, it it does like you said ties in with the fashion, and I definitely uh, am like very into uh, the appearance, someone's appearance. Mm -hmm. So I mean that has to do with it. You and know? you want to be a, you want to get into the fashion and, and then uh, customizing obviously industry and things like that. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm just fascinated in general with design and uh, you know the design of anything. And uh, but right now shoes is just one of the biggest kind of in your face right now. Mm -hmm. So that just makes sense to go with that. Definitely, but uh, definitely. yeah, definitely not limited to shoes. But um, I, I definitely like where this is going. Mm -hmm. So. So let's talk about the shoe game since you brought it up. The shoe game right now, what do you, do you feel like it's in a positive direction, a negative direction? Um, do you like where it is? I mean, what do, how do you feel personally about the sneaker game and where it is now? Okay, well, uh, I'm only 21, so like, there's a big difference of where I stand on it mm -hmm. and where you stand because you growing up, it meant something different yeah. when I was growing up. Definitely. Uh, so, you know, uh, I've kind of seen it this stage of where it, I remember working at, at House of Hoops mm -hmm. and uh, phone posits did shit sit on the shelf they did, they did. for about two or three weeks and you know now that would never happen. That would never happen. So um, I definitely have seen this trend growing you know where now it's kind of like pick up everything type mm -hmm. thing. So it's becoming more of a hoarding. Uh, shoes than it is. <laughs> that's what's up. Story. That's, I've never heard nobody describe it like that. That's, that's, yeah. that's a good look. Like how that. many boxes can we stack? That oh, seems yeah. what it's like. That seems. So you think they're losing the passion? It's just more, just like I don't just 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 get it. I'm like a hyper beast. Just they just buying whatever kind of thing. It's not more so much the passion behind each and every shoe they buy. Yeah, and that's a general statement. I'm definitely not saying. Yeah, that everyone. Yeah, we're not gonna get you prosecuted up here. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, man, the reason we brought you on the show is obviously, man, because of your your artistic design and your flavor on your shoes. You have been getting hit over from. Baton Rouge and Wallace, the life yet about people hitting you up about customizing your shoe. So, um, first of all, you know, I had a shoe personally done by him, so we highlighted on our episode one if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, but talk about a little bit about, about your designs, talk about how you come up with the themes of them, and maybe uh, some product that you use, something that people would want to know out there. Okay, well, uh, it's def it definitely started off as just something fun to do for a friend or two. Um, I think I did, the first one I did was a phone posit, mm -hmm. and um, so it started with that, and it kind of, it it's very tedious, but um, the more I, interested I got, the more things I put off in order to put this forward. Wow. So this became like something that I wanted to do and I was uh, interested in. So we pushed forward with that. And uh, generally, uh, like you said, people are hitting me up. Mm. So by them hitting me up, a lot of times they think that I can just produce a sneaker to their <laughs> specifications mm -hmm. when in reality, I'm buying a base sneaker and just customize. going off of that, right? So they so, think you, they think you work in China. You're actually. They want me to change this sole out. They want me to change this. And you know, I, I wish I could. Yeah. It would be great, but I can't. So um, right now, so uh, I think um, that's one of the big things. A lot of people kind of tell me what they want, and I can go from there. Other people, um, a guy in New Orleans just said, you know, I wear a size 12. I just want a shoe. Yeah. I just am interested in your work. So he's getting something which I would consider my work. Yeah. Uh, something like uh, this would be considered my work. Mm -hmm. This is something based off of the Venice Beach Kobe uh, mm -hmm. eight. So I mean that I, I mean I did this, but it's not necessarily it's not your original idea. He's yeah. basically taking a concept from another shoe that a person like and now putting it on another shoe right there. So you know what I'm saying? It's his work physically, but not of uh, the idea concept pretty much. Right, right. So yeah, these two I would definitely consider something that like my work because. Mm -hmm they come from like the complete imagination of myself so that's and, and this is great i think because the main thing people hate is now is going to store the mind exact same thing so with you having to be able to customize your own kicks i think that's just awesome i think that's that's a beautiful thing you're doing and these are yeah. some of the products that you're using to um to, to make the material and things like that yeah yeah um you know there's a base coat that goes on the um certain shoes like the nike roche that uh hardens it and then you apply the paint this is right here is angelus which is just a brand mm -hmm. uh there's multiple Multiple brands, but this is the one that I use, and uh, so it's um, and you know, regular paintbrushes. So, so let me ask you because if I was a consumer, um, if I was a consumer right now, well, I would worry about maybe flaking. How reliable is this? If I get it, get, get caught in rain. So if you you are selling this product right now to your viewers, um, you know, what, how would you say as far as durability? Does the shoe keep its same mold? I mean, just you know, just how how does that work with having actual paint going on in it? Yeah. Well. Um, Bosky, I didn't walk around with his paintings on his back, so I definitely wouldn't walk around with these all the time. Uh, <laughs> just like everything else, it is a piece of art. Um, so, I mean, they are wearable, mm -hmm. but 
I, I, I don't provide a warranty on them. <laughs> <laughs> no warranty, no warranty though. No. Whatever's up, man. Before we let you out of here, just give them one shot of what's your favorite shoe right now out, man. However you want it right now, in the time, or, or forever. Which What's your favorite shoe going on right now? Oh, well, I definitely think that Air Jordan 1 uh, in uh, Royal or maybe the bread colorway Ooh. is all time. But right now, I've been wearing the uh, Como de Garçon Converse collaboration. Uh, say that again. <laughs> Como de Garçon. Como de Mar but well, we got the spelling right there. Yeah, it's right there for you. <laughs> Say it one more time for oh, man. <laughs> Como de Garçon uh, Converse collaboration shoe, which is basically just a Converse uh, that they collaborated with. Como de Garçon, play uh, the Play brand. So um, those are, I've been wearing those every day. They're really comfortable. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Well, like I said, man, if they want to hit you up and find more about how they can get your work, man, how can they do that, man? Uh, definitely through Instagram. Uh, at ol underscore blaine that's o-l-e underscore b-l-a-i-n-e or you can hit me up in an email which is more professional and i tend to get to those faster <laughs> that's uh b-u-k-u -U 985 at gmail.com i'm gonna just co-sign this boy like i said he did one of mine personally man i love it like i said i don't wear it every day like he said this is a piece of art you mean you know you want to bring that out on special occasions or when you need it man but this guy definitely hit him up for some of the hottest custom shoes on whatever you know what I'm saying? and even art paint anything you think of he can do it man so big shout out to definitely you paint. definitely paint exactly so Man, thank you again. Go to his Instagram. Go to his email him if you want more information. We just give you a sample right here at the Cloud, your number one leader in sneaker news. Thanks again, man. No problem. All right. What's up, world, man? Like I said before, we love priding ourselves on giving you guys top, top sneaker information and being your number one leader in sneaker news. So with that being said, we're going to start right off with the 10th anniversary Dawn Beckham collection. And we have some powerhouse shoes that they collaborated with out this year, and we want you guys to definitely be on the lookout. So we'll start off with things like the Nike Phone Posit 1 right there, which I think is a major, major collaboration with Dawn Beckham. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys really emphasize the Dawn Beckham. We just really admire the way Nike has collaborated with charity events and giving back. And like I said, my key's passion never pow, blows up. we definitely going to follow in the footsteps, and you also could be looking out for events from us in October and November the Walker Kicks event where you can donate new or old sneakers to less fortunate kids be uh, hooking up with people like East Baton Rouge School Parish and other sponsors as well and also we have a breast cancer event October 6th all you ladies out there with breasts come on out there to the station from 7 to 12 right there we'd definitely love to have you guys there make sure you guys wear your pink but getting back to it we also have things like the Nike Dunk Sky High uh, collaborating with the Dawn Becker collection the Nike Rocha 1 one of the more comfortable shoes out there in my opinion uh, the Nike Free Run 5.0 so you can get your run on and get back at the same time. The Nike SB Zoom Stefan Janowski's, say that three times, and the Air Jordan 10, which is uh, one of my favorite shoes out there. No, it's not, but I just thought I would say that. And like I said, it's a big, big classic shoe in the sneaker community right there, but, um, and it's going to be a big hit right there with uh, teaming up with the 10th anniversary Dawn Bank collection. But right now, we want to take the time to highlight two shoes out of there, which are the Retro 10s and the Phone Positive, because these shoes already sell fast enough off the rack, and with them collaborating with Dawn Bank, I just think it's a great collaboration. So we're going to let my girl Casey take it on the way and tell you guys a little bit more about that collaboration. And the phone positive ones are inspired by Elijah Dickens, 14-year-old diagnosed with Burkitt's leukemia. Now Elijah's design includes his personal smiley face logo that turns into his initials when viewed sideways in a fiery red and black color combination that represents his favorite basketball player LeBron James. This special sneaker sock liner features a chain link graphic that represents a silver bracelet that his parents gave him before starting chemotherapy and Japanese characters on the tongue stand for courage. Included with the Nike Air Phone Posit 1 Zornbaka <laughs> is a matching windbreaker and a hat. Now the retro tins are designed by 12 year old Daniel Penner. They feature a clear outsole, the first ever on an Air Jordan 10, and a glossy camo print inspired by Daniel's love of video games and a modified logo that customized just for Daniel. These Jordans along with the rest of the 2013 Zoran Becker Freestyle Collection will launch at Nike retail locations and Nike.com later this fall. So like we said, it's going to be a cold winter right there. So <laughs> you guys definitely be on the lookout for some major, major releases right there from the Doran Beckham family. Like I said, we definitely salute Nike for doing that. I think every company should, should really tie into that. I know copying is not what you want to do, but that's something to copy. Giving back to these kids and giving them an opportunity. We actually do things like that with MKTP. We have uh, artists come in like Blaine, like they came on the show earlier. They're going to be painting on custom kicks and we're going to donate to breast cancer events so we definitely are trying to get as much as involved and if it's a good thing sometimes copying a good thing is not a bad thing so big shout out to the Dawn Beckham family like I said be on the lookout these shoes will all be dead stock they'll be very limited and very exclusive so you definitely have to stay on the hunt but my kids passion don't feel we're gonna keep you guys updated on every move that they make with it so your number one leader sneaker news your boy Tony T and your KC <laughs> there you have it, man we out man
What's up, world? Welcome back to your number one leader, Sneaker News. I'm your boy, Tony T. And like I said, we're going to deliver, man. We're about to take our camps out of the streets and give you guys a real deal on what's going on out there in the campuses and closets of all these sneakerheads out here in Baton Rouge and surrounding the areas. So right now, we're about to take you away to some live footage. So y'all stay tuned and enjoy this right here. What's up, y'all, man? It's your boy, Tony T. With my kicks to pass in the closet, man. You tuned in. We're in TX True Vision Production. We out in the street just like we promised y'all. We don't just crash closets, man. We actually about to start crashing campuses. We're on the campus of Southern Union University, the Southern Jaguars. Big shout out to the Jaguars. Homecoming on the way. What's up, man? It's your boy, Tony T, man. We out here at Southern University, live on the set. My kicks to pass in the closet. Your number one leader, Snicker News. I found some beautiful ladies right here on campus. Can you introduce yourself to the beautiful camera? I'm Jasmine Brown. I'm Jessica Brown. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Y'all rubbing at you right now. And right now, the show is all about sneakers and tennis shoes. So, you don't know what women are wearing when they're working out of them. So, y'all can tell us what y'all rocking today. <laughs> I just got some Nike shoes on. Uh, pretty much wear uh, Nike Free Run. Nike Free, okay. She's on Nike. That's what's up. Yeah, I just have some Nikes on too, but I have like a mixture of everything. Okay. I have an album on Victoria's Secret. She mixed it all up. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, this is what y'all like. So, what's y'all favorite brand out right now? Um, Nike. Working out with Nike, yeah. Working out, Nike. okay, okay. So y'all went Nike out at Nike too, or y'all get your kill game on? Yeah, yeah. We have a good thing out there. It's pretty chill. It's chill? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, cool. So I, yeah, I look like y'all do a little working out. So what did y'all play? Y'all do something, y'all did something? Yeah, we both play softball. Yeah. Okay, okay. High school. Cool. That's what's up, man. Well, I want to thank you guys for the time. I love your shoes. Keep them up. Are they comfortable? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's what's up, man. So, my kids the passion. We out here live at Southern University. We're about to find out what they win and what they rocking, man. So, look, it's your boy, Tony. Thank y'all so much, ladies. Any Instagram or Twitter? Y'all want to shout out? No. No? I have no Instagram or Twitter. <laughs> you can find them on uh, blackfootme.com. <laughs> <laughs> they are looking for, you know, edge of the I'm just glad man. Thank you so much, man. What's up, man? It's your boy, Tony T. With my kids the passion closet, man. We out here at Southern University, man. The Jaguars. How you feeling today, man? I'm good. I'm Princess. Yeah, introduce yourself to the camera. Yeah, I'm Princess. You see, she did it for yeah. She was ready. I'm about to get my plug ready in. Ready for you, you know. <laughs> How you doing, man? You enjoy your day? Yeah, it's going pretty smooth. That's what's up, man. You got like the outfit, I like the shirt, man. But you know we got to talk about the finishes, the closet. So what, 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 you, what you rocking today, man? Tell Just what you rocking got some all white high top vans. You know, keeping it simple for them. You know, it's lovely. Now, lovely. that's a power move because I heard some universities don't have a lot of... Uh, grass area. There's a lot of dust and stuff. So how do you keep something like that clean? You, know, you just, just gotta it? watch your step. Gotta, gotta watch your step. Watch That's your people saying. and watch your step. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite shoe out right now? What you rocking? What you, what you wearing? Um, I'm kind of like in the vans and the dunks. Okay. Jordan's everybody on them, so yeah. you know how they go. Yeah, so you're trying to get yeah. shown a little lane, something different, yeah. something like your head on. I like the head on. And a little steez on them a little bit. Okay. Just call me pieces. That's what's up. So how you feel about a sneaker? You feel like it's going in the positive direction or it's kind of, uh, kind of falling off? Or what, what you feel about it right I now? I mean, what you taking over, it's going in the positive <laughs> direction. <laughs> that is a great promotion plug right there. <laughs> shout, yeah. out to, shout out to that. We're trying to definitely give it a positive spin and we want to come on campus. That's the only way we can know what's going on. We can't sit behind the desk and say, yo, we, you know, we got to come out here and figure out which y'all are in. So, so SBs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, any other brand that's a uh, phones, phone? uh, okay. vans, um, Nikes, pure Nike running shoes. What would you want to see come back out? Any shoe that you want to see come back mm -hmm. out that ain't out right now? You know, any... I like to see more of the high top chucks. Oh, that's yeah. a good color. I'm, I'm a big, you know, that's my favorite shoe, <laughs> man. That's my favorite. And I, I agree with her. They don't, they don't come in enough color way yeah. other chucks. That's, what, that's a great call out right there. Patterns and stuff. That's what's up, man. Shout out yeah. to your Instagram and Twitter, man. Take your be, be cool and follow me on Instagram. No Twitter, but it's all love. <laughs> Shout out to Instagram, man. We'll make sure you rocking with MKT for the closet, man. Your number one leader in sneaker news, your boy Tony T. Go Jaguars. What's up, man? It's your boy Tony T with the closet, man. Still out here at SU. Go Jaguars, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, at JSU, we're going to get y'all next year, man. You get that. But anyway, man, I have my little girl. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Angel. Okay, AJ, where you from? I'm from New Orleans. Big time. Freshman, sophomore, junior? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore, okay. I told y'all, we was going to go all around this camp, man, and find out what's going to rock. So, what you got on my table, girl? Uh, today, I'm rocking the Clint Coy. <laughs> Let me ask you about this. Southern University is not the most. Um, Grassy <laughs> campus. So how you go about keeping your shoes clean, man? Oh, like I, just, like just, I just rock with you. So how long you been a second? How long you been doing this thing? You know, like a tennis shoes have been on. All my life. All your life? No. And what you like, what, 14? Huh? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the time she looks young. She's 19. That's okay. what's up. So what's your favorite shoe out right now? Uh, I really like the Fours, okay. Mm -hmm. she, she, so your fours your shoe? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. She's like, I'm a dude and you got on fly kicks for me. I'm a little intimidated though. A lot of people kind of tricky. <laughs> the hey, then you hear it first, man. So what about dudes? When you looking at dudes, do you look like if his chicks don't match yours? Would you, would you converse with him? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's not because uh, I know some girls be like, hey, if you, you gotta. Oh, oh yeah, like. His shoes gotta be. If you have to be I gotta match my class. Hey, 
you gotta match up. I hope you gotta match my plot. How I'll match your plot like that. You're on Twitter right now, man. So please remember Twitter name okay, out there. Okay, you can follow me at Asian Pearl underscore. Asian Pearl. That's Instagram. You sound like A A A. She got a she got a backup right there. She got she got a support team in the background. Yeah, y'all can follow me too. You heard me? Oh my dang. Well, New Orleans is just just out you, man. What's your boy Tony T? We're the closet, man. Thank you so much, New Orleans. Make sure you go to class, dude. Don't be late. We don't want to have you late, man. Tony T, my kids fashion. No more leader sneaking news. I'm out. Girl KC and welcome back to my kicks the passion the closet. We're gonna hit you with some release dates, but before we do that, y'all make sure y'all follow us on Instagram at underscore MKTP and subscribe to our YouTube at my kicks the passion. Man, it's October 10th, man. So we about to hit you, of course, with the release dates. As we shout out to my boy Derrick Rose patching that knee up, getting his body right, man. He dropping the shoe, the Derrick Rose four. That's gonna be dropping on uh, October 10th. So be on the lookout there. Big shout out to the Bulls right there. And also we have the KD6 Texas Longhorns edition, man. Big shout out to Texas. That's gonna be ranged for $130. Right there, low top or back end, you better get with it. All right, coming out on the toes, we have the Air Jordan 10 steels. <laughs> it's coming for a 160, the white, black, light, steel gray. Then we have the Nike LeBron 11 King's Pride parachute gold, Arctic green, dark London black, and that's gonna shoot out for 200. Then we have our sneaker expo for Ensayo Set Long Island. Big shout out to Long Island, man. If we got the viewers out there, man. Make sure y'all shout us out, man. We got a Caribbean Soul Connection, man. They got shoes. They can in everywhere all over the world, man. Big shout out to the Caribbean Soul Connection, man. Make sure y'all shout us out on Instagram and Twitter, man. Uh, we also have the Air Max One Grade School. This is a really, really hot shoe. I wanted this shoe, man. I've been looking for this shoe, but it's just grade school. So shout out to all the high schoolers and little foot people that's going to be able to get this shoe right there. So that's all our release dates right there, guys, for the week, man. But tune in each and every week, and we're going to keep you guys updated as much as possible, man. It's your boy, Tony T. And KC. <laughs> and we out, man. MKTP the closet, man. Uh. What's up? It's your girl, KC, and we finna get out of here. But we're gonna hit you with the recap like we do each and every show. We hit you with the sneaker and sports industry, the Blaine interview, the sneaker definitions, and the release dates. Like I said, man, we enjoy doing this so much, man. We pride ourselves on being the number one leader in sneaker news. Big shout out to KC, man, for holding down with me over here in the driver's seat. But we would have got a couple shout outs right now. We're going to be dropping mykeepstopassion.com any day now, guys. Any day right now. So be on the lookout on IG underscore MKTP and just follow us each and every day so you guys can hit the website. I, I'm not a big internet guy, but I promise you guys, this is the funnest website I've ever been on, man. It's, 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 it's user friendly. It's, it's one. It's just it's creative. Um, we, we're really excited about this. So we're really gonna need you guys' support to just lock, type it in on your phone, mykeepstepassion.com, and go check us out. Also, we got some new gear in. We got some new bands coming in. Some mykeepstepassion bands right here uh, for breast cancer. We really want to support breast cancer. Show that we're really in the fight. So right here, you can uh, check out our new band right here, mykeepstepassion.com. It has Pound MKTP Fave. And if you don't know about Pound MKTP Fave now, you should because right now, every time you rock any of our gear. Or you're rocking some fly kicks. All you have to do is hit pound MKTP fade, and we'll reach shot you out on Instagram. Or we just want to just want to see the love and support. Or we just want to know what you guys are rocking right there. And we also have our new one right now. We call this an OG right here, black and red. Uh, we have the closet on the back. So all my viewers that's watching closet, you gotta get this because uh, we want you guys to support us daily right there. And of course, each and every week, man, we have this fly gear. Just email us at mykeepspassion at yahoo.com. Like I say, each and every week, we do mail internationally. So um, like I said, we're really excited about some of the things we have socks coming out. We have a lot of things that we are venturing out to. Um, also with the chair. And community, we're also gonna be crashing schools really, really, really soon. Um, I think our first school is gonna be Capitol High. Um, I hope I didn't give it away too soon, but I'm really excited about that going to these schools and getting this community and uh, making some changes through kicks, man. So, thank y'all for tuning in to the number one leader in sneaker news. My girl Casey over here in the driver's seat holding down with me today, man. It's been fun. Make sure y'all tune in each and every week to my kicks passion class. It's your boy Tony T. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Instagram and Twitter, Camara Life 83. And it's Casey. Follow me at Kia, not Kia. <laughs> Big shout out to the homie Blaine coming through. Make sure y'all support that boy. Big shout out to Rouge Collection, Wind 10 Production, True Vision Production, uh, Smash Barbershop, the whole team. It's a network, man. Band Rouge Worldwide, man. We coming. And hit us up, man, if you want us to crash your closet, man. We out here. It's your boy, Tony T. <laughs> this is this one. I never had one. Don't worry. Don't worry. Cut, cut the camera. Cut, cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs>